Okay, um, today we talk about mass and weight. Uh, because uh, the mass and the weight uh, sometimes it cause uh, confusion to some people. Um, first thing, uh, we talk about mass and weight scientifically. Okay, G give you some um, uh, scientific uh, uh, concepts. On mass and weight. Okay, the first thing uh, is mass. A mass is an intrinsic property of a matter. Okay, uh, we have to emphasize the intrinsic intrinsic property. Okay, its value reflects how much matter of an object has. Okay, it's how much matter. Uh, object has. Uh, it's a constant, okay? Uh, it doesn't change uh, when the, we will talk about later, when the gravity uh, changes. It's a constant. It's a unit can be a, a kilogram or pound, a gram, a milligram, okay? A microgram. And uh, weight uh, on the other hand, scientifically, is a force that is formed by uh, gravity imposed on the object. Okay, it's a force. Okay, the so weight unit uh, in scientific term is a uh, Newton, capital N, uh, defined as a uh, kilogram multiplied by meter over uh, second square. Uh, the kilogram is the unit of mass and the meter per second square is a, a unit of acceleration. And the equation uh, between uh, weight and the mass is this weight, okay, Newton, equal mass, kilogram, multiplied by uh, gravity, meter over second square. Uh, another point is, on the Earth's surface, uh, gravity, uh, also we call it G-value, is uh, 9.8 meter per second square. Therefore, the values of weight in Newton and the mass in kilogram of an object are very close if, they are, if this object is located on Earth, on Earth's surface, surface. However, commercially, uh, the term weight is often used as a measure of mass uh, with grams, kilograms, and pounds as a unit.